The Ceylon method is a minimally invasive, gentle, and user-friendly treatment for the thermal ablation of tissue. This video demonstrates how to use the bipolar radiofrequency-induced thermotherapy approach to treat habitual snoring caused by the soft palate. Before you use this method, it is recommended to properly diagnose a sleep-related breathing disorder. If the patient has other conditions, such as obstructive sleep apnea, additional treatment might be necessary. Habitual snoring is frequently caused by vibrations in the soft palate, the uvula, or the tissue in the area of the palatine arches. You can use bipolar radiofrequency-induced thermotherapy on the soft palate and uvula on an outpatient basis using local anesthesia. Apply a topical anesthetic like lidocaine gel or spray to the palate and uvula of your patient to counteract their gag reflex and reduce the pain of the injections. For local anesthesia, the injection of 0.5 milliliters of a 2% lidocaine solution is recommended at two points paramedially below the border between the hard and soft palates. After three to five minutes, an additional four injections in the lower part of the soft palate are necessary. These injections enlarge the volume of the palatine tissue during the procedure and reduce the risk of mucous membrane damage. Now use the Ceylon Pro Sleep Plus applicator to treat the soft palate. The power setting on your control unit determines the extent of coagulation induction. A power setting of 12 watts is recommended for treating the soft palate. The higher the power setting, the smaller the area of the coagulation. Insert the tip of the applicator into the palatal muscle until the applicator's insulation tube touches the tissue. One insertion with three coagulations on each side at regular intervals is recommended. If your patient has a wide and very thick soft palate, you can increase the number of coagulations. Make sure that the tip of the applicator is located as precisely as possible in the middle of the tissue. To avoid mucosa damage, don't place the coagulations too laterally or inferiorly. Also, to prevent unnecessary swelling, do not insert the needle tip up into the uvula. After positioning the applicator, activate the power supply by pressing the foot switch. You can monitor the status of coagulation via the acoustic signal. The power supply is reduced automatically to prevent overdose effects. You can expect a visible reduction in volume accompanied by a tightening of the palatine tissue within approximately four weeks as a result of the body's resorption process and the formation of scar tissue. Postoperative swelling and some pain may occur and can be treated with ibuprofen, for example. Clinical experience indicates that additional coagulation treatment of the soft palate is usually necessary to achieve optimal results. When conducting additional treatments, the Ceylon applicator should be placed between the scarred areas of the tissue. A follow-up intervention should only be conducted after a period of at least four weeks. Additionally, if you find pronounced webbing and significant hypertrophy of the uvula, this may indicate that a reduction of the uvula and the soft palate mucous membrane is necessary. If necessary, you can also perform radiofrequency-assisted uvula palatoplasty during the same treatment session with no additional risks. For this procedure, a power setting of 20 watts is recommended. The positioning of a neutral electrode on the patient is not required. First, take hold of the uvula with the forceps, which also serve as a return electrode. Second, activate the foot switch. Now the incision can start to be made with the cutting electrode. It is recommended that the resection of excessive mucous membrane is performed as a rounded shape on both sides of the uvula. Ensure that two millimeters of mucosa is left in order to not damage the muscle. Your next step is the resection of the tip of the uvula. The uvula musculature should be left in place. The uvula will shorten further during the healing process in the weeks after the procedure. It is recommended that the reduction of the uvula in the soft palate mucous membrane is carried out to the extent shown in this illustration. To treat postoperative pain and swelling, ibuprofen or diclofenac is recommended. The pain may last 8 to 10 days. A repetition of this procedure is normally not necessary. Olympus wishes you much success using the Ceylon method.
For further information, please see the procedure guides or visit our website.